All right, what's going on guys? CJ here, and I'm gonna show you how to make a swagged out shoe. Now what you're gonna wanna do here is after you make your shoe, I'm gonna send you a link in the description of the video, and that'll send you to this great, great website where you can just send your picture in and they will just make your actual shoe and then send it to you for literally free. So watch out for that. So let's get started. So this right here, this is your canvas. You can do whatever you want with it. So we're gonna go ahead and make a pair, make a pair of nice shoes here. So we're gonna start off with the outline of the shoe. I picked black and perfect all right so that's that's our shoe we're, we're rocking about so let's see go like this divided by two rocking that size 14 shoe here so that's that's good that's, that's a good it's a good size cam to start on all right so the first thing you're going to want to do here is you know just pick your default color so i'm going to go ahead and we're going to click on the click on the paint but uh, paint bucket tool or whatever you want to call it, and we're going to go ahead and make a pair of purple shoes. So there we go. We got our purple shoes, and now we have to do the fun part. So next, what I would do is I'd click on this black right here, and then we'll click on brushes, go to size. You're going to want to go with the big one. So you're just going to want to zigzag a bit, just like that. And these are going to be your shoelaces. So these are just going to, I mean, I don't know about you, but I think those look pretty darn close to what you would actually see if you're looking at a side angle of a shoe. So those are your shoelaces right there. Next, you're gonna you're gonna pull out the tongue. So you're gonna go for your brush size again. And you're gonna go want to go to the third to biggest. I picked a, a turquoise or an aquamarine color. And next, you're gonna want to do your tongue. So you're, this part you really need to focus. So. There we go. So that's what your tongue should look like. That's a, that's the best tongue I've made so far. So then you're gonna go over to your uh, fill tool again. You're gonna go ahead and do that. Come over to brushes. I'm just gonna clean this up a bit. Boom. So your tongue looks really good right now. So this tongue right here is looking fire flame, if you ask me. All right. Now what I advise is you're gonna pick another color. We'll go with red. Red is gonna be perfect for this for this colorway right here. And you're gonna want to start here. This is what I would do, just as a, a nice little accent to the shoe, just like perfect. Yes, exactly. I'm gonna do like just like that, and I would leave that little purple line you see right here. Leave that there. It really adds character to the shoe. It makes it look like a seam. So that's really gonna help. All right. Now comes the really fun part. You do make the toe box. So we're gonna go with an indigo here. We're gonna. Yes, alright, so that's not the best toe box I've made. That's pretty That's pretty good for a toe box. We're just going to leave that there for now, and we'll come back to it in, in a little bit. <clears throat> now, one of the hardest parts of the shoe is coming up in just a moment. But right now, we're going to go ahead and do the sole of the shoe. So we're going to go ahead and pick a nice pink here. Yes, just, be a, just a nice pink. We're going to go ahead and just come right along the side of the shoe, just like that. And just a little bit over the toe box, not too much though. Excellent. So that's just what you want to do. Go ahead and fill that in. And then it's up to you if you want to leave the uh, little seams there. I'm going to go ahead and clean them up because seams don't really go on the soles of shoes. But that's your thing. No judges. YOLO. <laughs> Alright. So we are just about done with the sole here. Let me clean it up just a bit. Go ahead and get rid of this black line so it looks all nice and good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There we go. Alright. Now for the hardest part I was talking about. We're going to go ahead and go with a nice dark orange here. And you're going to go to your third biggest one. And now you're going to you're gonna make the swoosh. Now, you don't have to make the swoosh. I'm just going to make the swoosh because I understand that's what most people probably going to want. So, go ahead. Do it nice and slowly. Replicate the swoosh best of your abilities so this little thing here I cut in a little too tight around the corners it should be somewhat like that there we go so that looks way better so we're just gonna go ahead and fill this leave the seams there because it looks nice it looks real nice go ahead and grab our eraser tool just pull that off right there switch to our black again this is the really complicated part I'm telling you is the swoosh so this is really the one you gotta watch out for um, pull our black down a little bit. 
and then we'll grab a red. Excellent. All right, now you get to add the the designs, which is a which is a fun part. So, oh, let me fill in the toe box actually real quick. All right, excellent. All right, so for this toe box here, I'm really feeling a heart. I think that's really gonna it's gonna say I love sneakers and I made this one and it came from the heart. You know, like people need to realize that you spend a lot of time and effort and creativity on the shoe. So the heart's really gonna show whoever's looking at the shoe that you took a lot of time and it came from your heart. All right, now for the tongue. You really wanna add an interesting design on the tongue because the tongue is a really big part of the shoe. So I think we're gonna go with this four point star. And we are gonna make this a red because they contrast each other nicely. Just like that. That looks really nice. And then you can fill it with whatever color you want. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it with a lime green. If you can see the little speckles there, that looks real nice. All right, and then up here, you can add whatever you want. I think I'm going to go with the Star of David. Go with a big one. And then some smaller ones. And then on top of that, some even smaller ones. And there we go. So that is your shoe. And then what you're going to want to do is come over to this A real quick. Pop down here, and you're going to want to name your shoe. So I'm going to name this the From the Heart. Air Force 17s by CJ Lane. Alright, so at this point, your shoe is just about done. You're going to come over here. You're going to want to save your shoe. Hit save, and there is your shoe. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time with another shoe creating process.